the tables. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at it, you're sixth in all of FCS and power rankings. You got the tough, you know, the number one in the strength of schedule. Do you still feel that you guys control your playoff destiny? I'm sure we do. I mean, that's that's a given. I mean, we're, we have the number one toughest schedule. If I match that list. <laughs> It, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, you know what? We we just need to line up and and play this weekend, and we really need to do a good job this weekend because I believe this might be one of the. Well, it is. Uh, I'd I'd like to see the North Dakota State South Dakota game, how that pans out, because that's that's two good football teams, two totally different football teams with how they operate. It'll be interesting, but the forty-two to nothing drubbing they put on Southern Illinois it was quite impressive. So yeah, we we gotta we gotta do a great job this weekend and then take care of business after that. But right now it's 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 getting to the weekend and getting through the weekend well the way that we need to play. So we've got to work cut out that way because this is this is a very, very good team. I mean they they went to bowling green and put up 45, 50 points on them. So it's it's not just by chance that they're putting up points, and I'm looking at everybody else, and they're putting up a ton of points on everybody. So we'll have to see if we can't find a way to slow it down a little bit anyway. Obviously, the personnel is still the same, but do you go back and look at some of the Western Illinois films or the maybe get some tendencies on Western states and South Dakota? Oh, man, I look at everything. I, I go back to – I got film from 2001. All right, so it depends on what I want to look at and what I want to – what I think it looks like or what it, what looks like it will work with it. I know defensively that there's not a stone that doesn't get on doesn't get turned. Offensive is a little bit different because you're you know what the play is, you're you're controlling it. Defensively you're reacting. So I want to make sure that we can we've seen everything that could happen so our players can react properly. And right now they're doing a really good job. Defense I was pleased. I hope to get them I hope to get all our starters back is what is my concern on that one. If I can get all the starters back, then we just need to give them a good plan. Offensively, we need to get them settled down and get them in a groove and get them in a rhythm. And this this defense will try to get them out of rhythm because they, they'll bring pressure. Uh, they'll look at that tape and they'll, they'll want to bring pressure on Eli all the time. And, and uh, you know, we have, we'll have to establish a good game plan on offense to counter that. Oh, I'm sure I did. As I watched it, if you off the tip of my tongue, we should we should have stayed with the run more against them, because we were getting the same amount of yards per carry as we were getting against anybody else. And I think sometimes when you play them, particularly guys that haven't played them before or haven't played there before, even coaches, they get caught up in the in the wave of the of the environment and it's easy to get caught up in. And then you start to think that, you know, the, the crowd is a factor in the intensity of the game. And really, it, your intensity is more garnered from yourself and your, how you're playing. You get caught up in, like, you're not moving the ball as you think as good as you are because of the, you feel like that environment isn't saying that you are. So it's, it's hard to explain, but I think it's a learning experience for those coaches as much as it was for for the players and probably more for the coaches. They got to understand that, you know, you got to you got to go in there with a plan and stay to your plan and execute your plan because it won't be perfect every time. If you stay to your plan and you put a good one together, you can you'll be better when the full four quarters is over. But if they pull you out of the plan early, which happened to us, then you're drawing straws and and it's like I tell defensive guys, you're guessing. And you can't guess. You got to be you got to get the percentages on your side and play the percentages and, and, and let your players play to their strength. So, if anything, that was a learning experience, but I don't know if that's anything new. It's just what you should do every week. I hate to ask, but did you have a statement 